What's going on, folks? TJ Lowerman, aka That Sports Gamer, here, back with another episode of Bullpen Banter. As always, I'm joined by my associate, Chris, aka Millennium OS, the banner of you on the Operation Sports Forums. Chris, how's it going? What is up, folks? The hammer is heavy for those who wear the crown. I, th I think you destroyed. That's not any of those are right. <laughs> See, it was I pretty close, right? I no, not at all. Uh, Chris. I never know if I should call you Chris or uh, Millennium. So tonight right. we're going to go with Chris. How's that Works sound? for me. Uh, guess what? Tonight is a big night for us. Uh, we are finishing our uh, Diamond Dynasty budget section of the show. Uh, these first couple of weeks we've talked about budget starting pitching, budget fielders, or budget infielders, budget outfielders. And tonight we're going to wrap it up with budget bullpen options. Uh, we've both loaded up a full budget bullpen they're going to be bringing to you guys. And then, I don't know if you know, Chris, but it's going down. The beatings will be handed out Someone's going to thoroughly. Someone's going to catch an L tonight because we're going to battle our budget teams uh, made up of the picks that we've made over the last few weeks. And since we've been building it over the last couple of weeks, some players have gone up, some players have gone down. Uh, so it should be pretty fun. Uh, I'm working, I'm, tr I'm trying to get a park for this game. I don't think it's going to happen before game time starts, uh, but I'm pretty excited for it. As you can see on the screen, I have my team. Uh, I'm going to drop a note in the chat with... Uh, well, I don't want to put the I don't want to put the link in the chat yet, because that'll have the budget bullpens on it. So let's just wait on that. Uh, so, traditionally, we like to start this show off by talking about uh, what we've been playing. Chris, I just realized I've been talking a lot, so why don't you tell us what you've been doing in the show this week. Uh, I started working on the Jonathan Papelbon grind. Uh, I believe that someone else very close to this stream has. Uh, um, as as you're speaking, I am redeeming my Jonathan Papelbon. Uh, I love it so much. I love it. Um, I actually switched over to start the San Diego grind for the Tony Gwynn mm -hmm. because I currently have Luis Gonzalez and Reggie Jackson on each corner outfield. And as you know with me... I need defense, and neither one of them provides that. Luis Gonzalez may be the slowest left fielder I've ever put out there voluntarily. Guy can rake, though. Yeah, no, he can absolutely bomb um, against righties, and even lefties, he's good, too. So the problem is, is like I've had way too many problems with him in left field, and unfortunately, I can't find a park that I really like with a short left field because I'm not a fan of playing at Boston. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, I've uh, as we just said, I just completed the Papal Bond grind. Uh, I've actually started playing those uh, those Yeti that Yeti team uh, that people play just to beat up on, uh, yes. and everybody's like, "Oh, sweet, play it on Legend, you'll get great rewards." So far, I've gotten like a common, which you have like a point zero two percent chance of getting, like two bronzes, and I think I got a, I may have gotten a silver so far in like yeah. three games against them. Yeah, I mean, you can see the percentages that come on there, so it's it's obvious that the you're just playing the percentages at that point, mm -hmm. but that being said, I've had good, because all of my grinding comes against either the Yetis or the computer, mm -hmm. um, so I, I've had good and bad, uh, but it's never a common, that's the best thing, is bronzes sell, mm -hmm. commons don't, bronzes do, so. Yeah, uh, this is the first time, these couple games against Yetis were the first time I was actually doing grinding against the computer. Uh, I've mainly only been playing the head-to-head -head stuff, but I think I was like 60 or 70 innings away from the Red Sox, so I just played, or no, I must have been a little more than that, because I think it took two games for me to finish the Red Sox off to uh, to get that Papelbon. Uh, so I'm pretty pretty excited to use him, mainly because he's a high-rated reliever that's not going to get hurt by IE boosts, so that's really what I'm looking for right now. Uh, well, and that was the really cool thing for me, too, is I opened some of those, um, the, the balling is a habit packs. Don't, don't even talk and... about those. Oh, well, I mean, I know that you didn't have the same pack lock that I did, not but not I pulled the, the flash buck, or the flash buck, flash the buck. flashback, uh, Rollis Chapman out of it. And I already have the live series Rollis Chapman. But for me, the flashback is more valuable because the live series is always on a downswing. Like even right now, he's minus three across the board, whereas the normal one, it's not, and, and he, he's normally on a larger, uh, lower penalty than that yeah he's usually in the 
mid 80s or he's like i think he's usually like an 88 right something like that yes yeah exactly and but for this flashback it's funny because the flashback is an exact replica mm-hmm. like same pitches same break exactly the same ratings just doesn't get hit with the inside edge uh drop yeah uh right now chapman's an 89 with the ie boost or gotcha negative boost is there a word for negative boost anti-boost penalty is what i use sure ie penalty um yeah so heads up or uh shout out the celtics fan scrub in the chat all kinds of guys showing up to see me kick your butt it's not gonna happen uh you mentioned the ballin is what was it called? Ballin is a habit packs. Uh, ballin is habit. Yep. Uh, that's a good transition to go over to DaddyLeagues.com and look at the updated roster file. Uh, some new cards came out with those packs. Uh, an Adam Wainwright flashback. Uh, that's is that a, a prime playoff uh, one of them things or is that just a regular flashback? I think that's a playoff flashback because he's also a closer. Yeah, he's a ninety nine closer. Uh, that's probably the year that he struck out Carlos Beltran, made him look like a fool. It's either that or when he uh, was he a post. Oh, it's a post. It is a postseason flashback. Okay. Uh, we also got that Araldis Chapman that you got uh, a new V Mart uh, Cleveland throwback, uh, a new Rajai Davis, and let me see if I can find it down here uh, a Joe Mauer flashback card. Take a look at that real quick. Well, and what's really cool about the Mauer is this is the first time that I can remember since release that they've brought a rookie that has a mission mm-hmm. um, attached to him. We have all the normal missions, you know, the, the Yadier Molina, the Alex Gordons, but this Joe Mauer has a mission to go from rookie to prime to, or I'm sorry, rookie to, there's another, there's a card in the middle and then prime. Um, so, it is 115 hits to get him from the rookie to the middle level. It's a lot of hits. And then, yeah, and then the middle level mission is actually feeding your Diamond Dynasty player infielders, uh, first, second, third, and catcher, the same way you would do for your normal grind missions. So pretty cool that they did that. Um, I know guys like Carl Dude and, and, a, and a couple of those guys that are huge Twins fans are ecstatic. Um, as you can see, he's going for a whole lot of stubs right now, and he's probably going to go up because I think he's out of packs now. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of stubs he's going for. Uh, I'm going to hop back over to the game real quick. Uh, I'm showing the stats or the attributes in the game. 99 contact versus righties, 99 contact versus lefties, 99 or 96 power versus righties, 56 power versus lefties, uh, 95 vision, 98 discipline, 95 clutch, 92 durability in the 80s and everything for fielding. Uh, 50 speed, that's going to be the best catcher in the game Bar for none. a while, yeah. unless they make some amazing Buster Posey card. Uh, I think Joe Maurer is going to be, he's the end level catcher, I think, uh, for this year. Absolutely. The one thing you always want to watch out for is the 65 blocking. Um, obviously, that's not going to be a reason to take him out of your lineup. Just be careful on the low breaking stuff. All right, back to the good old daddy leagues. Uh, we saw Josh Donaldson take a one hit overall, uh, so he's down to a 95. Uh, and I wouldn't be surprised if that if that continues because he's he's not hitting at all yep. um, in real life. So, I mean, he took a contact versus righty um, down to 60 from 72 to 62. That was where that major bump came from. So, yeah, I mean, he's not in danger of going out of diamond, but definitely something to keep an eye on. Uh, then we have Noah Syndergaard and Jose Fernandez both going up 1 to 94. That Jose Fernandez uh, just got the Syndergaard treatment in which he got a monster hammer slider. So his slider has been updated. That's what everyone loves about him now. Uh, next up, a couple Cubs took a, took a little plus action. John Lester got a plus 2 to his overall, making him a 90. Uh, and Chris Bryant got a plus 1 to his overall, but don't be fooled. That's only because he moved from third base to left field. Uh, and left field is a very uh, crowded spot. So that Chris Bryant might start losing some playing time on a lot of people's uh, Diamond Dynasty teams. Yeah, and that, that John Lester sneaky is one of those sneaky lefties that he, I mean, he outside of Kershaw, he may be the best lefty in the game. Um, he's really tough to hit in terms of his windup and his pitch mix. 
So, you know, f- fastball cutter, uh, sweeping curve, sinker change. Cutter sinker is always good because you can move, uh, you can pitch them both off the fastball and pitch to contact. And 86 break on a 75 mile an hour sweeping curve. Wow. Yeah, he got boost to his hits per nine, Ks per nine, walks per nine. Uh, but took a little hit to his home runs per nine. Right. What else we got? Corey Seager. We definitely want to. Uh, we'll get the Carpenter first. Uh, he got a plus two bump, uh, going up to an eighty-eight, which is nice. Uh, that's specifically moving to second base. Was, uh, was he's, second. he's another one of the position guys. Yep. Ah, uh, ah, uh, not good. I mean, it's all right. I mean, it's good because again, we've we've talked about before how second base is or was at one point a position of need mm-hmm. for the show, and with Carpenter moving there, he's got decent fielding. Um, he can definitely play second base. So, if you got him early on, and now you can move him to second, so you can move your Evan Longoria, who jumped up to gold uh, with a plus three upgrade. Yeah, he's been back and forth, so it's good to see him back. Um, especially with the way he's hitting in real life. So, uh, but the guy we want to talk about was Corey Seager. Uh, he goes from an 84 to an 87 uh, with us this upgrade uh, and some big stuff. Uh, he gets a plus six to his contact versus lefties, takes a minus five to his contact versus righties, which isn't great. Uh, but he takes that minus five in the contact versus righties, but gets it back in a plus six in power versus righties, uh, and also gets a plus twelve to power versus lefties. But Please inform us of the more important stuff you got. Yeah, we all know that the one reason I kept telling you that you could play secret short stuff all you wanted, I wasn't going to do it. He now has, he's gone from 71 fielding to 74 fielding, but the bigger one is the fact he went from 68 arm strength to 77 and 66 arm accuracy to 77. That now makes him legitimate ability to play shortstop. And with those power numbers, he easily becomes one of the best, if not the best, live series shortstop that's not a diamond in the game. Yeah, uh, yeah I've actually been playing Manny Machado over at shortstop, uh, but I think that's going to change now because I was playing Machado at short and then uh, Chris Bryant at third, which I don't think I mentioned earlier, but I got Manny Machado. We didn't. Did I have him last time? Uh, you had just I gotten I him just last get him? time. I think I got him like yeah. right before the stream last time. Okay. Yep. Uh, what I mean, and even in that case, you could still do the the, the Seager at third and Machado at short if you really wanted to. Yeah, I did that in one of the games I was playing online the last couple of nights. Right. Uh, a couple other starting pitchers that got bumps, Drew Pomerantz and Rich Hill. Uh, they're both gold now. Uh, Will Harris got a nice bump uh, to an 84. Uh, with, the, with his 81, he was getting IE boost up to like 90 overall. That uh, was nice. So hopefully that, that should continue. Uh, Drew Smiley takes a negative two hit. Uh, you said something interesting about the Drew Smiley flashback card today. Uh, the Drew Smiley flashback card, I, I put this on Twitter. For me, best lefty reliever in the game. Um, and for and it, it's not even close. Uh, um, there are people that swear by the uh, Billy Wagner, the 93 Billy Wagner reward that you get. But let me talk to you for a second about flashback Detroit Drew Smiley. My ears um, he's a, so he's a relief pitcher uh, for you. Let's see. I'm just pulling him up right now. He is a gold 87 overall. His hits over nine. Let's just go through this. 82, 84 K over nine, 81 walk nine, 81 home run over nine, 88 clutch. Plus he's a five pitch reliever. He's a lefty. Four seam, two seam cut slider change. Uh, we've talked about before that, you know, uh, and this was with Paul Spore, that if you see four seam, two seam cut, you can just say fastball. But the difference in Drew Smiley is his cutter is 85 miles an hour, where his four seam and two seam are both 91. So, and he's got a 73 break on the cutter. So his cutter actually plays well off his slider. Um, you can go, you know, cutter, cutter, slider, and the slider could be the full pitch to get outside. And his changeup is 80 miles an hour. So you're looking at his cutter as you've said this before. You always like to have that middle pitch mm-hmm. between the, the fastball and the changeup. He has that with the cutter. Yeah. So, I, I mean, absolutely love him. And the cutter and the slider both have some movement on it. So you're going to have two speeds, two different speeds with kind of the same look. 
Exactly. And that's nice too. Always good to be able to fool guys. Um, a lot of guys you're going to see online will do the, you know, the high fastball, low breaking stuff. But when you start getting up to where you are, like the 1650, 1700 area, it, that's not going to cut anymore. You actually are going to have to pitch to these guys. Uh, anybody else in the update we want to take a look at? I know uh, we said Will Harris got that little bump. Adrian Gonzalez takes another hit. He keeps humbling down. Might be a Adrian Gonzalez might be budget first baseman now. Uh, shout out to Jay Young, guest of the show. He said he's still seeing Seager make errors at shortstop even after the roster update. I agree with that. Um, he's still in the seventies for fielding, so he is still going to be somewhat of a liability for you, but. The bat will make at this point, his bat will make up for his fielding, and you, and you barely ever hear me say that. His bat will absolutely make up for his fielding. If when he was in the 60s, I didn't think his bat did. When he's in the 70s, I think his bat does now. Uh, I also want to shout out Michael Fulmer for the Tigers. Uh, he got a I think he he initially he started as a 68 reliever, then he got the switch over to a starter. Uh, and he got bumped up to 73. Now he's a 78. Uh, last I checked, he was on 27 or something consecutive scoreless innings in his starts. Uh, he's doing real good. Uh, four seam slider, curve change, two seam. Uh, I expect him to keep going up. Funny thing about Michael Fulmer, uh, Paul Sporer, former guest of the show, was actually on MLB Network a few months ago talking about him. So go check out Paul's yeah. YouTube page where you can see him talking about uh, Michael Fulmer on MLB the Network. only other guy I really want to sh shout out to with this is well actually let's go for two of them right here first of all Jameson Tyon who just had a no hitter broken up tonight um, is opened up at a 67 but is still really high so if you pulled him sell him now mm -hmm. um, at like tonight if you have James Tyon of the Pittsburgh Pirates on your roster sell him tonight he's good he will sell for upwards of what looks to be possibly around 6,000 stubs right now. So, yeah, and you're going to get um, that bump tonight just from his just from his good outing. Yep. And the it's other already, guy... You can see it's already gone up. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So the other guy you want to take a look at is um, Tywin Walker, who just got bumped down three points, uh, starting pitcher for the Seattle Mariners. I think he's going to bounce back from that. Um, so he bounced. He started the season at 81, bounced up to an 85, which made him gold and upped his price. And then brought him back down to an 82. Um, give it a couple days, see if his price continues to go down as a silver, and then swoop him up for later when his ratings go back up. Also helps you with the Seattle collection for the Edgar Martinez, who's probably one of the better pinch hitters in the game. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd also go back to the tie on. Uh, when his price goes back down, uh, I definitely say grab a couple of him uh, as investments for later on in the season because there's a good chance that he'll go back up. Absolutely agree. And with his pitch mix, you know, the 95 mile an hour fastball and the uh, 75 mile an hour 12, uh, 12 6 curve, I mean, that's with the 88 mile an hour splitter, that's what you're looking for. That's those are the, you need at least three plus pitches, and he's got them. Yep. Uh, anybody else in here we want to mention? Anybody else? Who else got new cards? Albert Almora, only 63. I think he's actually playing pretty good, unless I was thinking of someone else. So he might get some. Get some bump love coming down down the season. Uh, he's only going for like 130 stubs right now. You can go grab him. Get that Curtis Parch card, 52 overall. <laughs> Jump on that. Buck Farmer. I love, I love when the rookies come out. <laughs> John Gant. I have to see if John Gant has this crazy windup. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah, uh, if you guys, just, just a general tip. If you guys are purchasing cards for collections on Friday and you get one of those rookies that show up like – this like this year or this uh week was like uh let's see like the card is the Curtis Parch. Mm -hmm. Um check that at leagues. If they have a zero under previous means they're a rookie card, don't buy them. Wait for them to come back down. They'll they'll come back down within a week. Or it just means it's a new card, because even the flashbacks have the zero to start with. Oh right, right, right. Uh all right, so that's gonna do it for the roster update. Uh last week we said we weren't gonna talk about uh the captain stores. And then but you have to. <laughs> then they go ahead and they drop some diamonds in the captain stores this week. Uh, so we're going to talk about that. They Not hurt us. Pence. Uh, I, I fully believe that they hurt us. They must have. They must have been listening. Uh, they've bugged the Twitch channel, and I mean they could have just gone to the Twitch channel and found this out. But uh, yeah, in the Degrom store, there's Dylan Patansis, uh, who's normally going for. 
Any idea off the top of your head? Uh, the Dylan Batanzas normally goes for, I think it was like 15. Give me one second, I will tell you. I got you. Uh, 18 to 20 right now. So, for 2,300 subs, or 2,300 tickets. If you're playing a lot, you're going to make those tickets back. Maybe it's time to go grab this guy. He's pitching well, from what I can remember, off the top right. of my head. So, that's something that could go up. But, then again, a bullpen guy getting these IE negatives uh, back and left and right. So, maybe that's something you don't want to invest in. Something you do want to invest in, and I already partook, uh, it was in the Anthony Rizzo store. Anthony Rizzo is in there. Uh, 93 overall with a 98 IE boost right now. Uh, 2,300 tickets. Uh, I blew my wad of tickets on this Anthony Rizzo. I mean, he's going for 24 sell now, 29 buy now, um, and 29K. And I assume he's going to take like a maybe like a one, maybe a two overall hit in the next week or two. Uh, but I'm investing in the future, assuming he's going to come back strong either later in this half of the season or have a strong second half. Well, I think we talked about that with his contact numbers um, that he said, I think like 260, 270, mm -hmm. somewhere in that area. I, he's got 79, 74 contact. Uh, I, I don't know that – I don't see any – and he's 77 vision. I don't see any reason for it to go down based on his average. He's still hitting for power. Yeah, um, but he's still hitting a little under his career average, if I remember right. I think he was more in the uh, 280s range. Now he's, right. now he's in the 260s, 270s range, so I wouldn't be surprised if they give him a little hit. I, could, I mean, I guess I could see it, and uh, obviously one point would drop him down to a gold, but still, I mean, 82 fielding, that covers your fielding at there. 51 speed, you're not using like an Aegon or a David Ortiz there where you're slow, or Victor Martinez where he's just going to clog up the base paths, mm -hmm. and decent hitting both sides. So, I mean, obviously he matches against righties, but... He can hold his own against lefties. Yeah, his power number. need to platoon. Yeah, his power numbers are good. Uh, he's been averaging twenty nine homers a game. He's already got fourteen this year, in sixty games. So, his power numbers are good. They might actually get a bump because he's a little, a little better than on pace than what he's normally done. Uh, his average in twenty fourteen was two eighty six, two seventy eight in twenty fifteen, and now he's at two sixty five. So, wouldn't be surprised if they give him just like a little, just a little something off his contact for now. But I also don't think it'll be uh, a long-term thing. He'll bounce back. Right. Uh, was there anybody else in the captain's store that we wanted to look at? I don't think so. You no, got the think, U, right? Yeah, I got the U Darvish because I'm working on the AL West, and that, I mean, that still saves me some stubs. And ticket-wise, I'll be able to make that back. Not it will, That won't be too bad to make back. Right. Oh, I also finished Eric Hosmer. I don't know if I finished that last time. Uh, now I'm going to rank 18 with Donaldson. Yeah, I'm, I'm finished. Uh, I finished the Rizzo. I think was the one I was working on. Mm -hmm. I'm now at uh, now at 21 with the Degrom, and then I've got to do the Ortiz. So, uh, uh, all right. Let me ask you a question real quick. Our bullpen picks in the document. You went one to seven. Seven's your closer. Correct. Okay. So we will do them backwards. I will do mine backwards. <laughs> Gotcha. Because my one is my closer. <laughs> but, sorry. Uh, all right. Uh, so now we're going to switch over to our main topic uh, for tonight. We're going to be talking bullpen budget options. Uh, these guys are all going to be sub-1,000 stubs. Most of these, I don't think they're anywhere even near 1,000 stubs. Uh, they're all pretty cheap guys. Uh, they're going to be quite effective uh, for you coming out of the bullpen. Uh, we're going to start with me, mainly because... I have the control of the screen, and uh, my choice, right? Uh, recently, we saw uh, Phil Hughes get moved to the bullpen. Uh, he was a starter for the Twins. They've now moved him to the bullpen. And because of that, he has some extremely high stamina. I know they just did an update that messed with the stamina. Do you know what that did off the top of your head by any chance? All that did was remember the, the bar, right? The bar. The bar. Right yeah. Now. Instead of a bar, you can now see a. Uh, you can see for the energy of the players in franchise. It makes it so much easier. Just look. Yeah, uh, Phil Hughes, eighty-three stamina. So if you need a long reliever, if you're going to get shelled in a game, uh, bring him in. Don't have to worry about it. Also has ninety-five walks per nine. 
uh, 84 control. 77 break isn't that great, uh, but five pitches, the four seam, the cut, the 12 to six, the slider, and the two seam. As we always say, we love the 12 to six and slider combo. Yes. And yeah, for, for Phil Hughes, I mean, he's always been just a, you know, pick side to side, top to bottom. Just don't throw in the middle of the plate. Throw outside edge and further and just continue to do that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you didn't actually pick a true long reliever, which I'm going to let you slide on that. I didn't pick a true long reliever because in Dynasty, I just, I've never felt the need to have one. Um, and to this point, I haven't actually needed one because you have seven relievers you can get through a game that way, and I'm ne- for for my for my myself. I don't get blown out twice in a row. Hey man, normally. So you never know. Always got to yeah. be prepared. Well, I mean, possibly, but if you use Phil Hughes in, let's say you get start to get blown out, you put Phil Hughes in the third inning, and he saves the, next the game, game, and then you dominate and you come back and win. Yeah, but I could I could use literally go. I could just go with one, two, three, four, five, six in innings as I go, and as long as I don't use two relievers in an inning, I'm fine. Hey, man. I'll take that chance. That's a, that's a risk you're willing to take. Possibly. <laughs> Although, now looking at it, I don't think I don't think a long reliever is a bad investment either, especially with like one like oh, Phil Hughes. how the and story changes. Earlier, like an Ivan Nova, I think earlier in the year, was one of your, one of your huge picks yeah. for long reliever. I can see that because chances are I'm not going to use seven relievers in a game that my starter has gone five or six anyway. Right. So I can see that. Uh, tell us who your first pick is. He's been sitting my on the first, screen this whole time waiting for you to say something about him. My, my pick is Hunter Strickland. Uh, I think he's been pretty much a budget bullpen guy for a lot of people uh, to start the season. You're looking at a guy that is 80 Ks over nine, 74 hits over nine, 71 walks over nine. Throws a 98 mile an hour fastball for me personally. Throws a 96 mile an hour two seamer with 76 break. His highest break is on his two seamer, and for me, uh, I've talked about before that a lot of people don't like the two seamer in the game. I live on two seamers in this game. Hate it. Gonna crush um, you tonight with it. Make you, make you wish you didn't. Have <laughs> you may it. not. You may never see Hunter Strickland. Perhaps my starter goes nine. Well, you don't have um, a long reliever, shut out. so when I blow out your starter, Hunter Strickland's coming to the game. <laughs> Um, but then he also has a curveball and a changeup that are both uh, above 70 with control. Mm-hmm. So, again, just one of those things that he's got high, good control and high heat. So a guy you can bring in for an inning. I wouldn't leave him in more than one because guys start to catch up with the fastball. But yeah. other than that, yeah. Uh, next up for me, I'm going to go with, if I can find him, it's a lot easier if I use Daddy Leagues. Uh, speaking of things you can see, I don't know if you guys can see, I'm rocking my beautiful uh, Daddy Leagues t-shirt. Uh, that oh, I'm, you got your Daddy Leagues t-shirt, dude. That's awesome. I got my Daddy Leagues t-shirt, and I'm uh, very excited about it. Uh, who did I say is next for me? Uh, I don't think I even said his name. Oh, my God. Too many too many windows open. Francisco Rodriguez. You may know him as K-Rod. Remember K-Rod? I do. Can't believe we called him that. Where is this guy? <laughs> I mean, he was he was K Rod on the Angels. Um, he's I think he's got a flashback Angels card. I believe he does too. I can't find him for the life of me. Do you know why? Because they swap out closers and relief pitchers. Yep. There we go. Francisco Rodriguez uh, got that crazy windup, which is nice. Ninety nine break, which is nice. Uh, Eighty six clutch, eighty one control. Uh, high 70s for his hits per nine, Ks per nine. Uh, change up as his number one pitch. Four seam, two seam, and the... What did we figure out SCZ mean, SCV means? Uh, sweeping curve. Sweeping curve. Okay. Got that, too. Nasty. He might come in the game tonight just to smack you around. <laughs> I do love the change up. 99 break, 99 control. Um, his change up is easily the best in the game. Um, and he's got now the one thing that I know you're not always a fan of sub 90s on his fastball. Um, both of them are 89, which means he'll hit like 91. Mm-hmm. Um, but his two seamer, it's no 87 of uh, Koji. We are so Koji. Um, his two seamer, 71 break, 90 control. His four seamer only has a 73 control. His two seamer is actually his better fastball. Mm-hmm. Love that. 
And then I again love the I've professed my love for the sweeping curve as well. Um, I actually like the sweeping curve better than the twelve six. So great pitch mix. I mean, this guy could close for any budget team. He could close for upper teams with a guy who knows how to use him. Mm-hmm. Uh, Unfortunately, I mean, we don't have that guy here. So I mean, I can, I'm gonna, maybe I'll use him close tonight just to show you what's up. <laughs> Tell me about your um, next guy. My next guy is Will Harris of, of your Houston Astros. I mean, I'm not from Houston. Uh, just gonna... Oh, I just I think I got the stadium first off. Oh I got no, the we're going to some dumb so, place. Will Harris, his cutter, curveball, four-seamer. Again, you're thinking, okay, fastball, curveball guy, right? No, his cutter, 89 break, 78 control. Um, It's a 91 mile an hour cutter, which is about the same as his four-seamer, but then it drops his curveball down to 80 with a 75 break. His hits over nine is 87, K over nine is 78, walks over nine is 72, Home run over nine is 70 and 75 clutch. I've really come to love the pitching clutch almost as, le- as, much, as much as the batting clutch recently. So Will Harris, definitely a guy that I would suggest keeping an eye on, especially with the fact that he just got boosted to 84 and has been pretty much unhittable in real life. Excellent. Uh, I'm going to bring up my next pick here. Uh, Cleveland Indians closer, Cody Allen. He... 84 overall. Uh, what was it? 200 stuff? Uh, you can get him for like 135 subs. Go put a buy order in right now for him. Uh, triangle is what I'm looking for. Uh, 81 hits per nine. 93 Ks per nine. Uh, everything else in the 60s or 70s. Four seam, curveball, change. I think he's got a little bit of a funky windup, if I can remember. He does. So, I like him. I mean, nothing really stands out here except for the Ks per nine. Uh, and he got heat. He's got 95 minute hour, mile hour fastball, curveball and change up at the same speed and same break and same control. But that means you can use them interchangeably. Um, you can use either one to get guys out. I would suggest probably the change up against lefties and the curve against righties. So that, that like I said, having two off speed pitches that you can use back and forth allows him to face both sides, which is nice. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of my pitchers, uh, I'm more of a feel guy. Like, I don't like relievers whose windups I don't like. So you could be the best reliever in the world, but if I can't get your wind-up down with my meter, uh, I'm probably not going to use you. Well, we talked about that with batting um, as well. Mike Avilas. A lot of people love that Mike Avilas flashback card, but if you can't hit with him because of his mm-hmm. because of his batting stance, there's no reason to get him. Yeah, big thing with Jose Abreu, too, because he stands one I mean, mile from the plate. It's a psychological thing for people to get their head around. Exactly, and then you start talking about funky wind-ups, and that brings me to my next guy, who is yeah. Tyler Clippard of the Arizona Diamondbacks. Um. Former Washington National, 98 hits over 9, 80K over 9. Um, where he loses it is you get to his walks over 9, and he's a 54. But when we talk about budget, you're either going to get all 70s or you're going to get specialized guys. Mm. Clutch is 77. Fastball splitter combo. His splitter is 82 with a 99 break off of a 94 break forcing fastball that's 92 miles an hour. I love that because he then has a changeup that's 87 break and 79 control that's only 78 miles an hour. And then if that doesn't strike you out, his 75 mile an hour curveball was 77 break. Splitter and curveball have low uh, control, 29 and 43 respectively. But so you want to go fastball changeup for most of it until you're looking for a strikeout. Yeah, funky windup. I don't like it. Don't bring him against me. <laughs> That's why I got him. Uh, I'm going to go with a flashback for my next pick. Uh, I'm going to go with the Vinny Pestano. Another one. Funky windup. Uh, he's got a four seam, slurve, and a two seamer. Uh, 95 hits per nine, 97 Ks per nine. Uh, the slurve's nasty. The windup's tough to pick up. Uh, great budget pick. I think he costs you, he costs you like nothing uh, doing the 25 man uh, collection. I could probably find out. Uh, it'll take two seconds. He's the Indians, uh, 25 man. Yeah, the Indians, yep. And the ball literally looks like it's coming out of his shoulder when he pitches. Yeah. Uh, you can get him for estimated cost of 530, which is probably like 360. You can probably get him for. Yep. Uh, highly recommend him. Uh, and a nice card. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, bringing us back to my lefty specialist um, from the Houston Astros, Tony Sipp, um, a guy that has kind of a three quarters delivery. Hits over nine, K over nine, both 
77 clutch. But as I said, you're going to get back down to the walks over nine, which is 53, home run over nine, which is 58. But let me talk to you about break on pitches for a second. Four seam slider change up. Four seam slider change up two seam. Remember, the four seam break matters this year. Um, so four seamer is 80 break, slider is 86 break, change up is 89 break. Two seamer is 81 break, all above 70 control except for the two seamer, which is a 47. So this guy is going to come in against lefties and shut them down based on his slider change up combo. Throw a two seamer, get a couple broken bats once in a while, but is just going to mow down lefties. So those of you that don't like seeing Corey Dickerson come in late, get yourself a Tony Sip. Uh, I wanted to bring the fire with my next pick. Uh, relief pitcher for your Atlanta Braves, uh, 78 overall. Where is he? Where is he? Is he, he is a relief pitcher now. He's no longer a closer. No, I'm in relief. Man, they should make this way easier to check. 78, right? Yeah, he is 78. Why am I not seeing him? Still a relief pitcher, right? Are there he that many 78s? Yeah. Am I just blind? Uh, there are a lot of 78s um, in terms of relief. So maybe go a page back or no. a page forward. Huh. Interesting. Uh, he's dropped down to a 77 with the inside edge boost. I don't know if that matters in that. That does not matter. No, it does not. Hmm. Where in the world is he? He's legitimately not in. That, I really don't. You, do you see him in your game? I don't. Go I don't to the Braves. Go, go to the Braves. He's got to go to the Braves. You, you're going to see him if he goes to the Braves. If I am, I'm going to be very upset. No, he's not here. <laughs> he's under closer. So that's weird. Why is he under closer? His card on Daddy Lee is not under closer. But he is their closer because Grilly's hurt. Grilly got traded. Grilly got traded. Grilly got traded. Yeah, he's with uh, Toronto now. And hurt. 99 velocity. 80 Ks per nine, a nasty two seamer, a nasty slider, a nasty sinker. Or all this guy throws gas. That sinker is essentially right handed Britain. Um, right handed Britain? A, oh, I, I was yeah, thinking of the country. Right handed No, no, right, yeah, right handed Britain. You mean great, is what you mean. It's great. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Um, 95 yeah. mile an hour sinker, 75 break, only 34 control. So be careful with it. Don't hang it. But right, when yeah. you're throwing gas, you don't need no control. You know how it is. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Thanks, Wild Thing Ricky Vaughn. Hey. Speaking of no control, let's talk about my other lefty in the bullpen. Uh, poor, man, poor man Sale, Jake Diekman. Uh, I had to get a Sale in there. Sorry, I had to. Um, so Jake Diekman of the Texas Rangers, 91 K over 9, 79 home run over 9, but then gets down to sub 40 walks over 9 at 39. And that walks so over 9 is the... When you come back up on the meter, how fast it does, yeah. With how hard it is to hit the hit the spot for the button meter. Spot, yeah. Yep. Um, and on the analog, the bottom of the meter. Mm. So, ninety-five mile an hour sinker with a fifty-nine break, ninety-three break slider at eighty-four miles an hour, ninety-seven mile an hour two seamer with an eighty-eight break. This is the problem. A lot of people use his sinker, not realizing this two seamer is actually the better pitch. Um, you don't get obviously don't get the sink out of it, but the two seamer is better break. You need some slide control. Out of it. Yeah, you might get the sink out. Um, and then throws a change, so it throws an eighty-five mile an hour change to mix it up once in a while. Again, seventy-five break, but his change is fourteen control. That's really what brings his walk over nine number down. So definitely, and has a funky wind up comes around from the side, even a little further than Saleh. So yeah, uh, if you're going to talk about lefties, I'm going to also come back and talk about lefties. Uh, I'm going to go with the 81 overall Sean Doolittle. Uh, he's taken some hits recently, right? Wasn't he? Was he gold? He was gold. Yeah, he was gold, gold. and their closer. Yeah. Uh, four seam curve change. Uh, first baseman, secondary position. The most important part of this card. Uh, 84 Ks per nine, 77 hits per nine. Uh, nothing amazing, but a lot of stuff middle of the road. Uh, and a lefty, just to mix it up a little bit. Yeah, and uses the break is good on all his pitches, 83 to 283 for four-seam curveball changeup. So, and it's 
control for his four seamer is 82. So definitely one of those things that you're really good lefty, like you said, middle of the road. But if you know how to pitch with him and pitch to his strengths, it will be fine. Yeah, you can get the job done with him. Yep. Which brings up to my last lefty because we got to have a third lefty. Can never probably, have too many. Probably my best lefty. Um, New York Mets, only a 78 overall, Antonio Bastardo. Um, I say best because hits over 992, K over 990, home run over 977, but then walks over 9 <laughs> is a 34. With an IE hit right now. Yeah, with an IE hit right now. Um, 92 mile hour fastball, slider and change are the same speed. Although you're looking at high breaks on the fastball and the slider, control versus change up is not great. So you're working more on his hits over nine and K over nine, lowering that PCI against the batters. Now, uh, I'm bad. I was looking at the wrong guy. Never mind. Continue. Yeah, that's three things over 90. That's uh, that's pretty good for a budget reliever. Yep. Uh, so now we're going to my closer, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yes. Uh, which is going to be another lefty. Coming out of the pen for the Minnesota Twins. Bum, 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 bum. Glenn Perkins. A little bit more expensive. Uh, we haven't been saying the prices, guys. Probably should have done that, but they can see it on the screen as I pull them up. Uh, Glenn Perkins, four seam fastball, slider, two seam fastball, uh, 80 Ks per nine, 85 walks per nine, 86 clutch, 93 control, 78 velocity, 75 break. Uh, better than average and everything. And that's what you need every day. And Perkins. great control, great clutch. 86 clutch control in his pitches. Like you said, 85 walks over nine. Well, get this. 93 control in his fastball. 98 control in his slider. 88 control in his two-seamer. That slider is deadly um, when you, you can just pick it. Yep, pick it where you want to go. And he's got a weird wind-up, too, if I remember correctly, right? Mm -hmm. It's just a weird release. A little slow, a little slow in the front and then speeds up at the end. A little bit of a side thing going on. Nice. You know who none of us picked? Well, make your last pick, and then we can tell you who nobody picked. Well, we, we know who it's going to be. So um, so the my closer is Miami Marlins closer, A.J. Ramos. Uh, again, kind of making a theme here, which is 96 hits over 9, 90K over 9, 80 home run over 9, 29 walks over 9. Um, Four-seamer is 92 mile an hour with a 79 break. This is where it gets fun. All of his pitches are 54 control. Slider, 82 mile an hour, 92 break. Change up, 83 mile an hour, 99 break. Curveball, 78 mile an hour, 89 break. So he has no idea where his pitches are going to go, but he knows they're not going to go where they started. Yeah. So, and online, you might be able to fool some guys with that, hopefully. And hopefully tonight, I won't even have to use him. Yeah. And if you do, you're not going to fool me. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to see where is. Maybe he's more expensive than I was thinking he was. Uh, where is Mr. Caps? Carter Caps is budget. He is right. Yes, he is budget. Um, I didn't pick him. He is. He's relief. Yeah, he's a relief pitcher. And the other thing with him is he's pretty much on a lot of gold teams now too. Mm -hmm. Uh, he is easily the best silver pitcher in the game. Um, throwing ninety-seven mile an hour fastball with eighty-seven control. Um, his slider, 77 break. K over 9 is 99, and hits over 9 is 80. So he's really good, and his windup is really funky. Yeah, the most funky of windups. Yeah. Uh, he took a hit, I think, like around it was like a week ago. Um, maybe it wasn't a hit down, but his price dropped for some reason. I remember vaguely. Uh, I don't know. He's hurt. I think he's out for the season, so. Ah, uh, okay. That was part of it. Gotcha. We're expecting a boost. Uh, but yeah, not a lot of relievers that aren't budget out there. Uh, so, yeah, there's a lot of options. Uh, that Chris Sale, Sale, not budget. No, well, it's for the White Sox. I mean, it could be budget, uh, right? Good call. It's a 25 man for the for – the, I didn't pick him because at this point, you and I have both said the same thing with the oh, Sale. Destroy. Just, he's, a, yeah, he's, it, a, he's a flaming pile of trash when anybody brings him against me. Well, and the other part of it is he's not going to hit his spots. He's like Deakman. He's not mm -hmm. going to hit his spots. So the problem with Asali is if once everybody's getting used to his motion because so many people use him, he loses his value. Yeah, 44 
uh, 45 uh, walks per nine, 59 home runs per nine. Good. He's a good uh, startup card if you need a guy. Uh, but, I mean, a couple weeks in, once you blow one save with him, I'd say toss him. Yeah, once um, yeah. once you get to that point, because the save you blow with him will be against a player that knows how to hit him, and then you'll realize why. Uh, yeah, it says uh, estimated cost on that at least is six ninety nine. Uh, and shout out to a mud in the chat. He said something he found interesting is only the first three pitches count toward any pitchers overall in terms of their rating. Um, so if you change their fourth or fifth, it actually doesn't affect their overall. Also, the break rating on the pitchers is not an average like the velocity is the break rating is actually the rating of their top break breaking pitch so Good when you're looking there. just a little easier to look at yeah so that's going to wrap up our budget talk uh now with the last couple episodes you've got budget starting pitchers you've now got budget relief pitchers you've got budget infield options budget outfield options uh so now that we've done that we can put that all together, and now we both have budget teams uh, that we're going to play against each other for tonight's game of the week. Gonna, I'm going to start that up one second. I just want to change one thing to the layout. going to turn the webcam off. Don't want to take up all that viewing room uh, on the stream. So I'm gonna Say goodbye to his wonderfully freshly shorn face. That's the past tense of shaven. I think Shorn is something close to that. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, where is my other little overlay? You know what overlay sounds like? Sale. Sale. There we go. Uh, just a heads up. If you guys want to try out the new Mauer, um, Battle Royale, he's popping up in a lot of Battle Royale drafts now. All right, and if you want to see our budget teams, uh, I'm going to put the link in the chat. Uh, if you're watching this on uh, the YouTube archive, I'll put them in the description down below. Uh, so you can check that out there. Uh, I also tweeted at the teams. Uh, we'll just do a quick run over real quick uh, of just the ones that you have on your main thing. We'll talk if we make any subs. Uh, your team, you have Salvador Perez as your catcher. Brandon Belt at first, DJ LeMahieu at second, Alcides Escobar at short, Yunel Escobar at third, Jason Worth in left, Adam Pacman Jones in center, and uh, Sin Chu Chu in right, and Tyson Ross is your starting pitcher on that screen. Uh, but we'll go into more in depth in a minute. Uh, on my team, Salt Lamaki behind the plate, Freddie Freeman at first, Joe Panic at second, Trevor Story at short. Uh, Nick Castellanos at third, Christian Yelich in left, Jackie Bradley Jr. in center, and Piscotti in right field. I think it's going to be a good game. I think it is too. Um, I'm hoping to get one of my lefties because I really don't want you using that salsa Lamakia. So mm -hmm. I've got um, just for the rest of my uh, rotation. Do you know what the backup right? is? I know what the backup is. All right. I'm, perfectly fine. I'm, I'm happier with the backup than I am with the salty. The Are salty you? is elite level. The salty is a diamond if he's facing a righty. So the rest of my uh, starting rotation is Drew Smiley. Uh, we talked about earlier as relief pitcher. I like him as the starter too. Doug Fister as my number three. Hardly know. Aaron, Aaron Sanchez as my four, and Francisco Ririano as my five. So two lefties in there, hoping to grab one of them to affect not only your salty but your Freddie Freeman. Uh, yeah, we're going to be playing at Sportsman's Park, which I believe has the short right field porch. So you definitely want a lefty to... So I don't have lefties batting. Right. Uh, so I'm going to send you the invite. Okay. Uh, do we actually want to see... The rest of my rotation is... Uh, Garrett Richards is my number one. Uh, Jake Odorizzi, Cliff Lee, Justin Verlander, and Michael Waka. Waka Flocka Flame. My only thing I don't like about my team is I don't really have a speed guy on the bench. Jose Iglesias... Wouldn't call him a speed guy, but he's there. Uh, decent speed, but yeah, I wouldn't. I definitely wouldn't call him a speed guy. So, do 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 play with friends. Uh, if you guys want to play with us, uh, I am that sports gamer on PSN. Uh, make sure if you send me a friend request, 
put uh, Diamond Dynasty or something. Bullpen banter. Put something baseball related in the comment, uh, or I will block. I will not accept you, and I will probably block you just for yep. just for giggles. And same thing with me, Millennium OS, two L's, two N's. Shout out to Paul Spore, friend of the show, in the chat asking if it's all silvers. Paul, it's actually our budget teams from the past few but, uh, bullpen banter shows. So it will be very interesting to see how badly I beat TJ with this. Going down. Uh, before we get into the game, let me check Twitter real quick. Let's get an update on, oh, the, on. Uh, the fan people vote. The people don't know. People have spoken uh, via Twitter. Where is uh, where's my? Is there like a thing that I can just see my polls? <laughs> Sounds terrible. No, you would have to go back through your back through my tweets. Back through my tweets. Man, tweets. Uh, all right, you got an invite coming in at you. Oh, I felt something vibrate on my controller. All right, we've had waiting for the for the pull part. To load. I had to go over to make sure you weren't trying to screw with the settings. You're a win at all costs kind of guy. We have to make sure oh, I'm gonna that win. fair game at all costs. Why can uh, I not find this pull, Paul? Just so you know, no. he doesn't know, but he's on my bench. I thought I had. Sportsman's Park, but apparently I bought Griffith Stadium. The site of my loss to J.O. Oh, then this is even better then. We're doing it. A beautiful April morning with clear skies. Are you ready Works for this? Me. I'm all in. I'm so ready. Cliff Lee. Right, here we go. Maybe, here we know. go. See. Oh, come on, somebody. All right. So I'm letting you know right now that Escobar is being taken out mm -hmm. um, and Pablo? being replaced. No, uh, you know, Escobar mm -hmm. taken out and replaced with, again, Spore favorite, Gong. Right, sure. I mean, that's an option. Um, that's an option the if you other, want. The other change is going to be. Ooh, never mind. You know what? I don't think I'm going to be able to change that. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Make a change. It's not. It's it's not scared. It's I really want to put You're Corey scared. Dickerson in for Jason Worth, but Jason Worth mashes. Oh, man, I want to put. Way. Man, I want to put David Peralta in, but I just don't have a spot for him right now. So, I am good and ready to go. As am I. Um, by the way, you have. Oh, I got Fister, and you got Garrett Richards. Wait a second. Was Garrett Richards your three? Garrett Richards. Was, oh, so, I think he's my three. Something like that. Gotcha. Uh, in 150, we had 152 votes uh, on Twitter. Uh, I got 59% of the vote saying that I will win. 59% of the people are going to be very upset. People have spoken. Couldn't get that extra 10%. Would have been great. Yep. I agree with Paul. Griffith is lit, especially with the memories and horrors of nightmares you have. I think our winning percentages are probably close. Yeah, you definitely play more games than I do. Well, I play a lot of off offline as well. So Freddie Freeman looking slick with the shades. <sighs> Little first baseman magic there. Okay, here we go. DJ LeMahieu leading off for me. I'm liking that right center field power alley. Are you? Garrett Richards kicks off the game with a two-seamer on the spot that doesn't get called. Are you kidding me? Can we restart? Can we get new umps out here? No. Absolutely perfect. I love that. I am not hitting my spots right now. It's one second, I'm going to pause for one second. I just have to I have to find out. Oh, he wants to know where it's, the wind's going. It's blowing no, up I right. No, no. I want to know who the home plate umpire is. It is Freddie Ferguson. Do I have to go check uh, something? I will give you. you know I'll give it to you. Book? I will give it to you because I have the book. Operation Sports doesn't even have the book. I keep the book secret. Shout out to my Garrett Richards. Are these Garrett Richards Diamond Dynasty stats here? Uh, yes. 5-0 and with a 208 ERA. You know what left-handed batters do to him? Jack squat. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> Good so night. the the Brooklyn Freddie Ferguson is he gets calls below the knees once in a while, but otherwise he's generally a good 
umpire. Hmm. Interesting. How do you feel about that book after that first call? <laughs> Throw it out. Throw the book right out. Freddie Freeman, a phenomenal defender. I think my controller might be messed up, but it's all good. I feel like my guys have been running all over the place. I'm just going to start making excuses now in case I lose. Uh, I was going to say, the excuses are coming, yes. <laughs> also, I, I want a new... I, want, I wish Sony would have put out like a new awesome controller at E3. You mean like the Xbox controller? Yeah, Xbox also... They redid all their regular controllers, so they're supposed to be extra good. I think I'm going to get one of those custom Xbox controllers now uh, where I can put my gamer tag on it and stuff. That's nice. And do like custom color Ooh, scheme. And I start with Gong terribly. Sweet. Gong down. Very, very, two very bad pitches. Pomahawk in the chat says, let's go TSG. I yep. agree. It's one of your boys. One of my stop boys. Bringing your, stop bringing your boys in here. Spence, an OG That Sports Gamer follower. If one day you want to be an OG That Sports Gamer follower, uh, make sure you hit that follow button on twitch.tv slash That Sports Gamer. Woo! 97. Gaseous. Gaseous. Not really not really messing around, Steve Lyons. You're right. He's uh he's out there to get outs. Jackie Bradley Jr. under it all the way. Alright, here we go. So one, two, three is to start. Gonna bring out Douglas Fister. You gonna start See warming up a guy? Yes, we're warming up guys now. MK is such an OG follower that he became an OG gamer when we played League of Legends. Remember way back in the day when we played League of Legends? This guy with the pause menu all the time. You like that? He's going to get busted, and I'm going to accept the win. I saw you not accept the win against Jay Young last week, and you can be you can rest assured I'm going to accept that win. <laughs> Boom. Oh, one Yelich Give me starting one zip. the game? Oh. I'll take a dub right off the first pitch of the game. Oh, is that a two-seamer? Get out of my face. <laughs> Steven Piscotti. Is now is Piscotti a can uh, a cookie? Some sort of cracker? Uh Biscotti. Bis with a B. Same thing. I love my OG followers. I'm gonna take that change up. I was gonna crush it, but I figured I'm gonna be nice. You're not gonna Fake one. crush it. I'm so mad I messed up the park. Uh, yeah, cause I think showing off the arm. Sportsman Park is the one with the short right field. Uh, I was playing that Yeti's team on Legend, and in the first four at bats, David Ortiz had he hit home runs and all of them. Bomb after bomb, <laughs> yeah, like onto the roof. <laughs> How's that arm doing? Eh. Wasn't set up for it, so decided not to go for that kind of thing. Freddie Freeman with a nice rip to right, but only moves the runner over. Now, Trevor Story. I guess he's got a boost because no. his PCI is looking big. <laughs> I was say, I was pretty impressed about the uh, PCI. Oh, you got to be kidding me, right? Trevor Story hits the no, poop out of that on. one. 74 foot roll the ball up the middle next time. <laughs> 74 hopper to the center fielder to drive in the first run of the game. Jeez. Uh, actually, this team, I had uh, Castellanos batting second, but I moved him down for Piscotti uh, to get up there. And Piscotti comes. Uh, came, what did Piscotti do? No, he flew out to right. My bad. So he was not as important as I expected him to be. Jackie Bradley Jr. The eye of a well-trained veteran. Ooh, you see that eye that Jackie Bradley Jr. has got? That's high, that's a high discipline rating right there. Is that discipline? Hold me, holds my checks back? Discipline. Ah. Brandon Belt, also a very above average fielder. Is that a ball? I think that was a ball. <laughs> MK says he wishes this was three times a week. I don't think I could deal with TJ three times a week. I mean, I could do it. Uh, I know you could. I mean, if you love my voice, you can also hit me up on Wednesdays on twitch.tv slash OOTP developments, where I'm the community manager for Out of the Park Baseball. Trying to take the Braves of the World Series, right? Yeah. <laughs> how's, <laughs> how's that working out for you? Hey, man, I signed uh, 
a hard to sign my number three overall pick. Uh, it was a power hitting catcher uh, out of high school. I really didn't think not think he was going to sign, uh, but we ended up getting him. So I do love, good. I love the no OTP like contract negotiations are like that, especially with draft picks. <laughs> Paul Spore backing me up. Woo! Jay Worth. Trying to figure out where I missed that ball. A little early, I think. A little early, I think. I missed that one real bad. I'm doing the clench thing with the hand. Oof. It's not good. Gotta, I gotta, gotta tell myself to calm down. Whoa. Oh! Oh, uh, you see that, right? That's 750. You ever see that commercial Ask. for the wiffle ball? That, the new wiffle ball? That's what that was like. <laughs> it was chew. Chew. Oh, how do I miss that? Again, the clench. Yeah, I did. The hand thing working. I did turn MK on to uh, Out of the Park this year. And he oh, did you? Game. Yeah. He used that 15% off code. Uh... TSG. Oh, my first. Oh, hit. that's a nice, nice play oh. by uh, Nick. Oh. Whoa! Wow. Heads up, base running by <laughs> by uh, Shinsu Chu. Two terrible defensive plays by my third Heads baseman. Heads up, base running. My third baseman should have made that play. My left fielder should have made that play. It's, uh, I also Christian like Christian Yelich in left field, right? I also like the yellow, uh, Richards has a red glove. And yes. Oh, yeah, for the Angels? Yeah. Yes, Yelich and Wright. What he doesn't have is a changeup. That's kind of what he needs. Yeah, I think when we talked about starting pitchers, when you said Richards, that was the one thing I didn't like about him. I'm not sure how you didn't swing at that one. I'm not going to lie. Now, let me ask you a question. Did that mess you up? What? All right. <laughs> what did you do? I went with the slide step. Oh, no, it absolutely does. Um, that's a great tactic when you're in the stretch or when you bring in relievers that are in the stretch. Even if they're just not guys on base, slide step once in a while, especially with fastballs, you, you will screw up your timing. And, and, again, it's not just a, just timing. So a lot of times you're just watching a normal, you know, a normal, oh, I just missed that. Oh, I just missed that. A little cut piece. Just to, to continue my thought, you're just watching the rotate the the windup, and you're getting used to this. You know, one two pitch, one two pitch, one two pitch. It will screw, especially with you know if you're using analog, it'll screw with you. That's what I'm here to do. Salty. Uh, All right, here we go. Hitting this pretty is, good. This is going to be the 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 um matchup. Got it all. Drop. Drop. A little jog, jogging there, by the way, to get the Adam Jones into the animation. A little three-quarter jag. It's probably good that you picked a guy for your budget squad that you're hitting uh, 111 with. Hey, man. He's got a home run there, right? No, he had no home runs. Maybe not. Hit the crap out of that one. Though. <laughs> All right, so Doug Fister had kind of a shaky first inning um, coming back here. We're gonna have to make him work a little more here. Yeah, I was I was looking up at the pitches. I wasn't gonna say anything, but I mean, I literally have the controller on the table right now. <laughs> he says to trick him. Yep. <laughs> but no, for the first two pitches, I literally had the controller on the table. <laughs> I I understand that. I completely get that. Time to switch to that contact oh, swing. Oh come on! Let me tell you, what. Richards. There's two things that I love. In this game, a hitting right-handed doubles with Jared Salt Flamakia. That's amazing. <laughs> B getting a single with a pitcher. Extra base with a pitcher, even more. But I don't want to jinx that. Should steal with a pitcher. Hey man, I stole with David Ortiz on someone a couple nights ago, and it was classic. You need a little two-seamer. I just flick that over your third baseman's head. If I send him, I'm just like, whoop, drop a bunt. I don't think the ball's a drop a bunt. 
Oh, oh. Brandon Belt with the snag. I went with the power sword. There we go. I'm not really sure why. Fister, Fister bringing it back. Bringing it back in. I know I'm going to give up hits with Fister. I'm just not giving up a bomb. That's how you Especially think. not to Jared Saltamaki. Oh, I was waiting on the fastball. Snake Doctor, what's going on? Sir? Oh, Snake, what's going on, my man? I stopped into your stream for a couple of minutes before we went on, just checking it out. Snake, dude, he, did you hear about this tournament he did over the weekend? Uh, I've heard tell of it. It was pretty cool. Like, he had he 1750 max, it was, or 1650 max, one of the two. Um, had, like, rules, like, batting, batting or uh, battle royale rules. Where you could have like one diamond, two gold, silvers, and stuff. Yeah, pretty awesome. Dougie Fresh. Ooh, come on, Garrett. Ooh, you don't know what. What do you know about a two seamer? I'm trying to throw it. See what happens. I heard it's cool. All the kids are doing it now, right? <laughs> Blue. <laughs> Blue as that pitch was. Freddie Ferguson's on the team of the pitches and bows tonight. Wow. I like the curveball of the pitcher. Well, we talked about it last week. A lot of people uh, don't show the pitcher the respect that he deserves. You know, one person I know that doesn't is you. As you saw with my Garrett Richards. Flipping a single into left field. <laughs> Actually, that was a pretty good pitch that you got yeah. a piece of. So, uh, talk real quick about now two different strategies here. Obviously, I'm using Fister in the nine hole, and you have Garrett Richards in the eight hole um, with Panic as your bottom hitter. Any reasoning behind that, or uh, not really? First off, don't throw low breaking balls with Jared Saltamaki as your catcher. Uh, main thing is just kind of keeping the lefty righty flow. As much as I can. So, like, I have... I forget who's hitting eight. Oh, no, it was Castellanos, right? It was Castellanos? No, so I'm not giving Castellanos. Yeah, just trying to keep the lefty righty flow going. Nice. Essentially. Uh, I mean, I don't really notice it making a difference. Though, I have noticed... Uh, last night, I was using this team online. I mean, I don't know if this was what, why it happened. Uh, but I had the pitcher hitting eighth... And he was pumping my seven hitter fastballs, and uh, David Peralta ended up hitting two home runs from the seven. It's weird that you would pump the guy in front of the pitcher fastballs. You would think you'd be more Trying apt to pitch, to, to him, pitch right? around him. Yeah. Ah! Why'd I try to pull that? Answer me that. Uh, I think you just swung ahead of a changeup. <sighs> That's probably not a good idea. Snake, who ended up winning that tournament, by the way? I didn't I didn't end up seeing it. He's in a 48-team tournament. I mean, the guy hosted a 48-team tournament. That's that insane. Fuck you about going the opposite way. It's a good technique. I have to get a screenshot of my bullpen. <laughs> good, te there. good technique when you have low uh, sinker the opposite way. <laughs> hey, man. Freddie Freeman up with a 92 overall with the IE boost. Looking for a high fastball right here. Got it, but not in the zone. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> how do you feel right now? Let me ask you how you feel right now. Being that I just called you called that? No, no, I was, I was going, I was going high fastball, and I was perfectly fine with it. I was no chance you were gonna. Ah, trying the hit and run. Oh, How's that working out for you? You know what's not working for me is sliding. Yeah, you said that. Um, since you said that, I've noticed that I've had some issues, not too much, but. Ooh, fouls off a tough cutter. That's a good pitch. And that was power swing, just for the smell of it. Mm, I don't you, know what I want to do here. You're not going with that high heat again, because that'd be a bad idea. Ah! Rolled over another pitch to contact. pitch again. Oh, wow. So Snake made it to the finals, and Styles Poker beat him in the final. Ooh, that's amazing. Whew. I did, like I said, I watched some of the tournament games. It, it's cool because, like I said, you're not, it's not a Diamond Dynasty game. He said he did away with diamonds altogether. It was uh, six gold, seven silver, 12 bronze. So I, I love actually having to create lineups to do that. But even tonight for a budget team, I love being having to you know go through my silvers and saying, you know, who's the on the inside edge boost? Why am I swinging at 98 mile an hour cheese? That's a great question. Why is... First off, did anybody actually say Junk Hook? I don't know if you actually said... 
gong in the show, did you? Uh, no. I told you I updated it to make sure my guys were budget. Uh, I don't know if that's actually fair. I feel like that's... I'm sorry, what? I feel like that's against the I said, spirit okay, that's... It. Well, uh, then I would have Rich Hill in my starting rotation. Hey, man. You picked him. No. People should have bought Rich Hill when you said to buy Rich Hill. No, he, they should have absolutely bought Rich Hill when I said it, because they'd be stub millionaires right now. Uh, but as you're saying, I really wish we had a way to save lineups. Like how FIFA has. Uh, Jackie Bradley! He's there. <laughs> yeah, I think there's something messed up with my controller. Because you saw that route he took? <laughs> yeah, that was weird. I've noticed my yeah, guys I'm, are always I'm going with like you about further. saving multiple lineups. I'm I'm a huge proponent of that. Yeah, I like it in FIFA. Or I should say I love it in FIFA. Uh, <laughs> I don't really use it in Madden, though. Snake said he bought... Uh, oh, how am I underneath that? Uh, he bought 25 at 150 stubs each. Nice. Not off mine. Snake's smart with the card flipping. But definitely. I need to be better at card flipping. Because game, playing games does not seem to be a money maker. Oh, yeah, unfortunately. Which it used to be. I feel like I used to be making like thirteen to 1,800 subs a game. I think that's placebo. Uh, I'll be honest. I mean, I would I would turn on 15 and, and see. I still have it digitally, so maybe I'll do that at some point. Reinstall it and see how many subs you actually get for a 9 in game. Oh. Swinging at terrible stuff. A nine inning head to head game. Uh, nine inning, well, head to head and um, offline, you get the same. It was, it, it has nothing to do with the actual mode you're in. As long as it's the time you're spent playing. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Just Trevor saying. story. Uh, I still can't believe he hit that ball. Hey, man. He's a quality hitter. He's not a quality hitter. He's a power hitter with no vision and no contact. What I meant to and say is, I'm a quality hitter. Single up the middle. Hey, man, seeing our singles, what do you want to do? One extra duck snort a week. <laughs> What's the story, Wishbone? Oh, jeez. Oh, hadn't seen that one yet, have you? <laughs> oh, I was all over that one. <laughs> that was anywhere near where I was swinging. It was gone by a mile. Is he going to get there? He's going to be close. He's going to get there. Oh, there we go. Um, one of the things I like to do with a five pitch guy, and again, this is basic pitching strategy, but I like to like not use, yeah, like hold one of the pitches back until the second time through the lineup and then start using it. So, like the curveball, I know he's got a big time curveball, but that not specifically you, but like online users haven't seen. I do it against the computer too, it works against uh, for franchise mode. I just like to switch up my first pitch, usually the second or third time through the order. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm telling you I'm going to throw it, right? Yeah. Yeah, Snake, I agree. Five pitch guys in this game are worth their weight in gold. Hey, y'all bring in Phil Hughes and his five pitches. Five. Mm. Hughes is a good pitcher. If you can control him. Oh. <laughs> yes. You know what? If I lose, Just if I get Mercy rolled and Salvo Machia does nothing but hit grounders, I'm. that's a win for me, by the way. Because I know all you want to do is get up there and yell. That's why you get a Jared Salsa Mafia. I know what's coming. You want to see all the salt come up in the chat room. I know what's coming. Yeah. Salt is good. He is. He's amazing. I told you, he's it, when it, when you have a righty on the mound, he's diamond. He's a diamond player when you have a righty on the mound. I'd say he shines bright like a diamond, yeah. Much like a Rihanna. Jackie Bradley Jr. There to make the play. That was a ball that he got, again, Chu got really good contact. That Chu, guys, the 25-man Mariners reward, I wasn't a believer. Jason Young made me a believer. The guy is a beast. Uh, especially against righties. And has uh, Ichiro level arm. Cannon? Got a cannon out there? Yeah, he's got a cannon, yeah. Does he spend the majority of the time stretching? <laughs> yes. And circling his bat. Interesting. Get sure a good hit tonight, or what's the deal with that? Maybe. It's possible. Probably checking on that at some point. Might get a walk first. Hmm. Can I test that in Jones? I'm going to test that. I'm seeing here. Oh, I knew it was a curveball coming, and I just couldn't hold back on it. Hey, man. 
I also power swung. Probably a bad idea. And then I earth swing early on the curveball again, of course. It's no biggie. I'll take the outs. I've got the lead. Just got to pitch to the lead. Now, there we obviously go. not the stadium you're thinking of. Um, we both know right center is where the alley is, and, you know, left field's a little shorter. Uh -huh. I think we're both using the same – well, no, actually, left field's pretty deep, too. We're both using kind of the same strategy pitching-wise. So I want to definitely keep, an, keep a thought in your head about what you're doing pitching-wise, um, even with me, because I want to talk about it after the game, too. Sure. Well, yeah, I'm pitching. Trying to get uh, trying to get out. Twenty seven of them make a game. Go go, Piscotti. Oh. Like, Piscotti. Piscotti. We've talked about it. He can hit, and number two, he's not going to hurt you on defense. He's a good player. He's a good baller. Uh, I'd probably say go buy some of them. How's he doing in real life? Anybody know? Uh, I don't know if he could cool off or not. Um, I know he was first two months of the season was re really good. Steven Castellanos here. What am I going to do with Castellanos here? Uh, Piscotti's hitting 308. Yeah, so I mean, he's definitely still hitting. 308, I think, seven homers, uh, 35 RBI. I'll take I'd it. be curious how Gritchick is doing because Gritchick was the other one I was high on. So. Oh, how's that bat feeling? He saw it off. <laughs> it's going to feel good when I'm jogging the bases after this pitch. Oh, swoof. Almost knocked down Brandon Belt with that, <laughs> that gust of air. <laughs> <laughs> oh, got a piece. A got a piece. I didn't want to throw the curve because I know you're looking kind of for the curve now. So no, I'm looking for that high fastball. So I hope to throw it. Oh, I wanted you to <laughs> so bad. I wanted so bad. You like the battle me inside? I like it. I, it. I don't think it's something now high inside. I think everybody pitches high inside in the game. I, I don't think it's used enough in this game. Um, High and inside. Being able to, f yeah, no, no, low, uh, just inside in general, mm -hmm. uh, low inside, that kind of stuff. I like to battle inside, but more for the put away with two strikes. <laughs> We're going with an up and in fastball. I wanted you to swing at that so bad. <laughs> what would you have done if I had put it out? And I've been like, uh, uh, well, it's, I'm giving you a chance. Pitch your home run derby. That ball, I think, went through my third base coach. Now you're gonna go up with the fastball. Kind of shady. Nope. <laughs> you keep calling it. I mean, you're right two out of three times, so 666 will definitely get in the Hall of Fame. I need Joey Panic to do something for me. A lot of contact. Not for me, though. <laughs> you beat your microphone on that? <laughs> Gritchick's 208 10 bombs from the chat. Thank you, uh, Thank you Mud. A -Mud. Okay, is A Mud talking about. Piscotti when he talks about the 500 runner in score position? I'm going to assume that's true. Oh, hung the slider, or Woo! sinker. That is hitting right there, folks. No, no, no. <laughs> you just take it back. What? You threw it low and away? And I just no, no, no. no. I'm, talking about, I'm talking about you thinking about second base. I was th you know, you just got to see what's up. 65 speed, 7 steal. <laughs> I'm pulling all these change-ups. Where are you going? Where are you going? You going over here? Nope. Yes, he was talking about Scotty with the 500. Okay, cool. Oh, Get that's the not good. Oh, that's going to be a problem. That's going to be problems right there. 65 speed. Get on your horse, sir. Get on your horse. Go. Yeah, that's going to slide in the third with the triple. You. Yeah, LeMayhew, not a great arm, so I was really hoping I was going to get uh, Escobar with that, but... I like it. I like it a lot. Unfortunately. Wouldn't mind putting one over the left field fence on this pitch right here. Mm. Oh, it's going, it's going. Uh, not quite. It's going to be a little short. <laughs> Just a little. It's a pretty deep uh, stadium. But, folks, the, th the thing to notice is that I called it. <laughs> I said I was going to hit it to left field, right? I mean, that's technically center. Nah, I don't know about that, nah, there, pal. We weren't out in front of that or anything. Blue. Where they at, Blue? 
stop swinging at terrible pitches. I mean, that was a beautiful pitch. No, it was a terrible pitch for me. I mean, for you. The strike. I think that's kind of one of the things that I, I get myself into in terms of, and it's one of the things that I preach, which is unfortunate. Um, preach it. Even, even if a ball is in the strike zone, doesn't mean it's one you should be swinging at. True. So Unless there's two strikes. This is two, yeah, two strikes, obviously you're fighting off stuff, but you know, a couple of the pitches you're seeing me swing at higher the higher strikes and the outside strikes too. Uh, balls, balls you really shouldn't be swinging at unless you have two strikes on you. Ooh, not where I wanted that. Oh, oh. Okay, That's okay, more where I see I how it is. It, but... Garrett Richards getting plunked in the head. Oh, <laughs> you don't know. You have no idea. Do I? Come on, Blue. <laughs> no, come on. That's not even close. You're not getting the call. I mean, you should have swung at it, but. Tag up, Doug. Tag up. Look at you. Look at you. In case he doesn't get back. I got to make sure he's got his head on a swivel. I, I, send it back, I send it back before you can anywhere near it. I don't have no any idea of the pitcher. This would be an inside slider. It's unbelievable. How, you laying off, uh, how do you lay off that? That's my question. Hmm? I, I couldn't lay off that. I have to lay off that. I couldn't do it. I got to start doing something, right? I'm just saying, I couldn't do it. Oh, that would, by the way, the, the hitting your pitcher is probably the perfect game, right? Is that what you're so worried about? <laughs> no, that's not what I was worried about. Okay. Like that pitch. That pitch is not something I should normally swing at, but in two strike situation, uh, gotta do what you gotta do. AJ in the chat wants to know: Do you think they will fix rewards in BR? Uh, define fix rewards. I mean, if you're talking about seeing the Cliff Floyd and the uh, Jack Morris all the time, I, I mean, I think that that's pretty much what you're gonna get. Ba Battle Royale is, when it comes to rewards, is sort of like packs. You're just bait. Oh, what? Oh, I pushed the freaking stick early. Um, you're kind of just luck of the draw so when you get to your six win plateau and you see that 78 cliff floyd sitting there get them edwin <laughs> incarnacions yeah you just gotta gotta kind of deal with it oh, i tried to wait back <laughs> that one. there's there's something the, the best part is every time that you try that you early you hit your microphone because of it brandon belt get there get there brandon slide. Belt. he's not getting there we're sliding i, I hope he gets up hurt i flicked that up hurt I flicked my control control freak right off my controller doing that. <laughs> oh, I, I haven't seen any silvers. In, in, unless it's a flashback silver, um, I haven't seen any actual silvers at 12. Yeah, I think flashback silvers. Flashbacks, if you're talking about flashback silvers, I mean, it's just because they're flashbacks and they're more valuable. Um, stop looking at the overalls. Possibly look at the cost of the card. I'm not saying that's the end-all, be-all, but... But yeah, I mean, uh, when we had uh, Jay Young on last week, uh, some of the flashback cards he was pointing out were like crazy with their stats. Like uh, Nick Swisher? Dude can rake. Yeah, oh, the dude, especially against um, righties. Mm -hmm. It's massive. He's, he's only an 81 runs. overall, but he's got those I think, stats. I think he is the 25 man for the Yankees? I believe so. Yeah. There oh. we go. There we go. Got to get down. Got to get down. I'm surprised you didn't take uh, second base on that either. Brandon Belt with a... Don't want to get greedy. Little mound visit there. Always good when you get runners on base um, to worry about. I will say the one thing that I'm not a fan of with Fister is he doesn't have a four seamer, so it's incredibly hard to when the wheels start falling pitch off. Pitch high, yeah. Well, pitch high. Salvador why Perez. Why the? Easy, easy, PG. Why can't he slide head first? <laughs> up, up, up. That's all I'm trying to do. Like, Ooh, so now frustrating. Salty. 
Hmm. He had that bag if he slid head, for, head first. I don't. I don't agree with that. It's because you're wrong. I mean, it's completely out. He was out by, and it wasn't even close. No, because the fleet stay up. Unbelievable. Oh, Brandon Belt making up for himself. Woo! I'm still being no hit. Let's be honest. Uh, well, AJ, you also get a pack, which is normally a thousand stubs. So, I mean, if it's a, like I said, is it a flashback silver? If it's a flashback silver, then flashback silver plus a stub. I don't know any flashback silvers that are under 500. That Off the top of my head, again, sure. grain of salt, but. All right, come on. We got to start doing something here, boys. And I like where I've got Garrett Richards. I wanted to get into 84 pitches probably in the 6th and not the 7th, but being no hit will probably cut down on that. Sure. I also noticed uh, with the Seager upgrade, they now shift him uh, automatically. Oh, so that was added in too? Because that's programmed in. That's not something that... That's not based They don't on react that. to spray charts. No, they don't react to spray charts. That's actually programmed in, I think. Uh, I was going to say, I thought it was based on like the power rating or something. Or... Maybe. Uh, that might be true. I am not aware. Uh, new feature of XSplit uh, 2.8. You can take screenshots, which is kind of awesome. Oh, I did see that in there. Remember what I was asked? I was asking about to do. So that that'll be really cool to be able to take just screenshots of what's going on. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on! Stop swinging at the crap. Especially if you had like a great pitching performance going on and you wanted to tweet out a picture of it or something. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm not going on Twitter for a week after this. <sighs> Cervelli is based off. So Cervelli has a has a push spray chart in real life. <laughs> yeah, and it's awesome in the game. Get down! Get down, ball! Uh, I knew it was gonna be oh. I knew it was gonna be something dumb with that. I knew it was gonna be something screwy. Oh man. Alright, here's the here it is. Here it is, boys. Choo. Walk him. Just walk him. Just hit him in the middle in the square of the back. It's not gonna be worth your it, it, you are not gonna do anything good by pitching to Shin Suchu. I can't believe first off that I hit that pitcher. Secondly, that Joey Panic doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> Uh, I take that as user error. By the way, that's no longer being no hit. Oh, I slipped. My stick just fell off. <laughs> wow, look at that. A little fake throw trying to get worse. Got questionable. Right. I didn't think I was going to get him. Right. I mean, it's only a two-run game. We need outs here. Mr. Dickinson. For Adam Jones. You don't know how hard that was for me. Hard. Hard like a diamond. It's gonna this game's gonna be real quiet <laughs> real soon. <laughs> real quick, isn't it? <laughs> Ooh, nice curve. I like that curveball. You've thrown that a couple of times. He's got when you get good. He's got some good break options. Oh, that one had more of a. God. That one had some, oh. some extra move on it. High the other fastball. One was more twelve to six. High fastball. Yeah, but oh, I can't believe that went there. <laughs> oh, that was so high. <sighs> Similar to Mike Jones with the uh, the pitch situation. <sighs> so many options here. Who you got coming up? A bunch of righties. <laughs> I didn't get no hit. That was. Did, or did they call it an error? No, they called it a hit. Ah. <sighs> Dumb. Dumb. And I even came in. For him to barehand it, but he just took his time. Dumb. Solid hit by Castellanos. Can't believe I lost a no-hitter. Tragic. Ah, oh, it's so good. So good. I mean, good for you, tragic for me. I mean, I'm so... There's a... Oh, wait a second, sorry. 
Oh, you're thank not... you. Yeah, that wasn't even looking. I I saw the blue and I was like, wait a second. There's nobody on the team that's got that that amount of blue. <laughs> oh Christ! Here we go. He's got the green tape on his bat. <sighs> the neon green you know tape. What's he, he got right now? Business. E contact seventy three power. He means business. I'm not gonna lie. You know it's true. Oh. <laughs> you know I what? Don't know how. I know how. I know exactly how. I did not have the controller in my hand. I put it down. Here, take a pitch. One of these days, I'm going to learn how to hit the opposite field and hit that out of the park. Hey, man, if you want to walk my pinch hitter. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's possible. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm okay with that. I just Peralta scares the hell out of me. He should. He should. Let's move him along. Oh! Don't you hate when you put the zone right in the spot? You do everything right. Uh, Christian Yelich going for the cycle. Triple on the double, yeah. Triple on the double. He's, gonna, he's not getting forward bats. Another bat after that. Yeah, no. yeah, I know, because the game's going to be over. He's going to beat that out. Not beating that oh, out 67. How, oh, how, come, how come he's safe? He, that's it. He's safe, but I'm not. I don't get an out with that play. Yo, that's a hilarious emoji. Where did you, where's the emoji from? I don't have better whatever Twitch. Boost? Twitch boost? It's, no, it's called better with Twitch or something. It's, it's some where you can see where the emoji is. It'll actually have it listed underneath who it is. No, this is you of tears. Right. Well, that's what I mean. But in this better, this other site, this better with Twitch or whatever, huh. it actually will give you like the actual user pitch with Peralta. Just throw one with Peralta and see what happens. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I don't have the hard pass on that one. <laughs> so we got a, what is this, Frankie Rodriguez? No, it's a Raldis Visca, you know. Ooh, fire. I guess. So much fire. One and three with a 450 ERA, that makes me feel good. With the fire the sinker, comes. The sinker is really nice, by the way. That sinker broke from about my, uh, about the strike zone all the way into my hip. With the fire comes. Questionable accuracy. <laughs> With fire comes responsibility. Lack of accountability. Ooh. Must be honest, I'd have popped that up anyway. True. See? Just like that. Well, okay. I mean that's at least a that's at least a fly ball. You know what's good? If I get this W, I do need a hold to finish that mission. So <laughs> the hold. <laughs> I need a hold. All right, come on, Perez. Show me that clutch rating, baby. There we go. Now I'm hitting the spot. Yeah, that's sinker. That sinker is something else. He, he legitimately is right-handed Britain at that point. He doesn't have the slider Britain has in terms of break, but... Sounds like the umpire saying, Sally! Sally! I'll never, I'll never get tired of doing it, and it's all your fault. Hey, man. What am I going to do? He's a good player. Run, slow boy run. Tell me more about how his slider's bad. No, I'm not saying it's, I mean, pitching off of that sinker, yeah. Alright, so... Hmm. Funny, uh, funny thing, story about when I go to the market. Uh, ben Revere, lefty for center field. Mm -hmm. He's actually a better hitter against lefties than he is righties. Hey. Ooh, you know. You and your shaky, shaky cam. Get. Oh, Trevor come story. on, story. Throw it away. Throw it away. Got him. I do have K Rod warming up, I believe. Hmm. The Yankee Clippered into pitch. <laughs> All right, here we go. Do you remember that? The Yankee Clippered? When no. they would call him the Yankee Clippered? No. Oh, my God. That was such a great time. With the Nationals? No, with the Mets. With the Yankees. He pitched, how long did he pitch for the Yankees? Literally forever ago. Now you're taking advantage of me not having my controller. I can hear the key. Yeah, I can hear your beautiful chroma keyboard. <laughs> I think Jesus Montero may have got... 
sent to the minors. I'm playing terrible. He pitched for the Yankees in 2007, where he was a starter. Oh, nice. Oh, oh. <laughs> literally almost fell out of my chair. Literally almost <laughs> fell out of my chair. Did you hear me kick my desk? I was trying to save my life. <laughs> Crap, you saw as you come back. That's why I pitched as quickly as I am. I feel like he re came back to the Yankees at some point. Maybe in the Montero? No. No, no, he's in the minors of the Mariners. The Yankee Clippard. Oh, no, no. Uh, no. He's with uh, Arizona now. He's been with Arizona for Nationals. Since last year. Uh, he pitched for the Mets last year, actually. Did he? Oakland no. The, Mets. Yeah. the Nats, Oakland, the Mets. Played for them all. Doesn't matter. I'm going to get a single. Oh, you better hustle. Oh. Interestingly enough, uh, January 14th, 2015, he was traded from the Nationals to the Oakland Athletics for, you know, Escobar. Uh, ninth round pick of the Yankees in the 2003 Amateur Draft. Also traded to the Nationals for Jonathan Albaldeo. Albaldeo? Uh-oh. Albaldeo got it. Ah. <laughs> Whoa, the, the catcher jumped up and scared the hell out of me. <laughs> the, the most dangerous place to hit a ball. Thankfully, that wasn't a ground rule double. <laughs> the ball was bouncing out there. I was like, what's going on? And <laughs> what, the catcher picks his head up. I told you what it's happened like, to me going out there? in that J.O. game, right? Uh, is that where you got stuck at? No, I hit a, a ground rule double into the bullpen. When I, oh, and wow. if I didn't hit the ground rule double, I would have tied the game. Ooh, that's a nice pitch. I... <laughs> nah, what's his discipline rating? A zero? <sighs> is that the TSG discipline rating? Which is probably plus one over the mill discipline rating. I should have. Contact swang. <laughs> Contact swang. Oh, there we go. Oh, come on. There's the discipline. Oh, only one out. Sweet. So I can just go up the middle, get another run. The the hold stays, right? Uh, yeah. Because you got the hold when you were in. Whew. Let's get that mercy. Bring in a lefty and face the clipper. I'll tell you right now, if you bring in the lefty, mm -hmm. I'll bring in V-Mart, the fastest man in the world. <laughs> I'll take my chances. I want Salty out of the game. What do I hit a double with Salty right now? Go for it. Will you give me $5 PSN? No. Well, hey, man. Why are you always trying to get PSN out of me? Live to win. Not. I don't think you can out. actually do a PSN card for $5. Can you, you? can't. Uh, yeah, we'll I mean, Danny that Valen that. Gritty Goody Danny Valencia has a higher rating, but we're going to go with, uh, with Martinez, so I don't have to worry about... Uh, Valencia mashes lefties. Now, once I get two more hits, I'm going to bring him in to pinch it from a pitcher. What about power swing right here? Oh, feel yeah. the power. How's that power swing working out for Did you? Did you feel the power? Uh -oh, oh, I wanted to. I was thinking about dropping it purposely, like trying to back off of it, but then I can see the ball bouncing like over my head or something and watching Jackie Bradley Jr. score on it. First off, Nick Castellanos kind of sucks. So what we're going to do is... Valencia for Castellanos? Yeah. <laughs> it's a interesting move. Bold move, Cotton. Oh, come on. That hit and run. <laughs> Ball was way out of the zone. Oh, oh, he was going a second. I should have let him go. I want to see where that PCI ended up being. That that ball was out of the zone. Bro, hold on. We'll, we'll see in a second. Can I? Look, look at it. The ball was zone. way out of the zone. Out of the zone, but I got it. What you want, what you want to do? It wasn't even close to the zone. Do something, bro. Hopefully this doesn't go to extra innings because I'm wasting my whole... Bench. Did I just have three straight pinch hitters? <laughs> yes. It's alright. We need a home run. Make it seven zip. Gotta get that gotta get that mercy rule in here. Mm. What's going on, EP? Oh, that's bad. Boom! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Oh, it is! Get out! What I tell you about oh, Marcel? Epidemic. Welcome, Epidemic. Welcome Marcel Juntalar Osuna. Hitting yak jobs out here. Seven zip. Got to get that mercy rule. Three more. 
We're almost there, folks. Almost at the mercy rule. <laughs> Who's my last bench player? Is it a righty second baseman that I can hit for? Get that's gonna drop. That's gonna drop. That's gonna, gonna drop. Foul. It's all right. I'll take it. <sighs> wow. Things this got is, this real out of hand quickly. real quick. <laughs> and see what happened? Fister went out, and I just lost everything. Woo. Woo. Stay calm. Stay patient. Ooh, that was a good pitch. <laughs> Stay calm. Stay patient. It's a good pitch. What do you want me to do? Yeah, MK. The game has gone south quickly. <sighs> V-Mart in the game. Everybody's good, right? Valencia's in for third. Yeah, Valencia's third baseman, and V-Mart is catcher secondary, right? <laughs> Although, how in the world does V-Mart still have secondary catcher? <laughs> hey, man, what you going to do? Well, I mean, because we, we talked about this, that Carlos Santana doesn't, and Carlos Santana has played catcher much more recently than he does. Uh-oh, here we go. K-Rod. Or the artist formerly known as K-Rod. I'm not going to lie, I haven't used K-Rod yet, so. Have I? I mean, I have. The last time, uh, V-Mart played two games of catcher in 2014. So then I wonder what Santana has. What is that? Yeah, that curve is sick. <laughs> and his flashback is just as good. Hmm. Carlos Santana, living the life just like a movie star. True story. Got him. Uh, not that Carlos Santana. This Carlos Santana. The last yeah. time he played catcher, 2014. He played 11 games in 2014. Let's see. And then he's lost his, and Martinez still has it. Hey, it's weird. Different strokes. Different folks. Ooh. That was interesting. I literally had to look because I did not know what pitch that was. <laughs> Rocket powered zombie in the chat says uh, he blew it to the socks yesterday, so he's calling an eight run comeback now. Uh, who had some team was down seven nothing at one today or yesterday? Oh, really? I don't remember if I watched it on, saw it on MLB Network when I got home or if I watched it on the other thing. You saw that route? This well, Shorbs. Oh, wow. <laughs> no, this controller has got to go. <laughs> Shorbs, uh, he says because VMart has a flashback, but VMart didn't have the flashback. Oh, get, oh no, I guess not. Um, VMart didn't have the flashback at the beginning of the year. Remember, that was mid year. Now, obviously, they planned that, so possibly. But. But there's also Mar a VMart flashback. Well, you know what? But Santana has a flashback, too, that's a catcher as well. Yeah. What's going on, Nezu Ticks? Oh, he's talking about the White Sox. The one uh, that were up 7 nothing, Or the Sox. Padres blew an eight-run lead. Or no, I'm sorry. The White Sox were the ones that came back, I think. No! Yes, another hit. Who got that hit? Brandon Belt. I hate myself. <laughs> for for throwing a pitch in the zone to my best hitter? No, for he shouldn't have even been pitching. I had Glenn Perkins warmed up just for him. That's upsetting. <laughs> Man. Like I brought in. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> I did like the, the yellow. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here it goes. Here it goes. 45 speed. Man. I, Shutout's gone. I'm so mad because I had Perkins. Ready to go to Shout face Brandon gone. Belt. Are you going to bring him for Chew? Yeah, I'm going to bring him for Chew. Get out of here. What are you, are you crazy? Come on, baby. The shutout is over. Hey, you got a hit. I'm excited about that for you. <laughs> I got a couple of hits. And I hit Batsman. Off K Rob, though. So, come on. Is that really a hit? Is that really yes. something proud of? Ooh, that's juicy, man. 
Uh, next week on Bullpen Banter, I think we've made up a topic. Oh, next week we're going to start talking about... Uh, divisions? Real teams and divisions. We're going to start with the AL West next week with Pasta Padre and his beloved Mariners. Oh, nice. Brian's going to be on. That's awesome. Yeah, so we're going to be talking about uh, all the teams in the AL West. Uh, their good points, their bad points, if you should use them in a franchise. If you use them online, and uh, what you may need to do with them. If you do, Maybe do online. quick franchise strategy. When you're talking about franchise, you know, if you're using the OSFM rosters or not, what you might want to do is a one- to three-year plan just really quickly for each team. Shouldn't be too long. Mm-hmm. Man. I'm yep. upset. I'm upset. You should be. Do I get cards for that game? Uh, I don't know. To exit out and see. Hold on. Let me. let me exit out here and see. Garrett Richards, seven innings, one hit. Only four strikeouts. But I think you did – oh, talking about what we did to each other. I think you did a really good job, and I did a very bad job, of pitching the contact in terms of around the zone but not out of it. Um, obviously, you threw a couple of high fastballs out of it and – that I swung at, but for the most part, pitching in spots, you noticed I was swinging early, so you kept pitching to those spots. Yeah, you did not get a card for that match. By that's the way. exactly what I did. Yep, I don't, that's not what I did. Well, what did you do? Well, okay, let's let's talk about that. What did you do strategy wise? What was your strategy coming in, and what did you alter? Uh, mainly trying to hit that outside pitch, that uh, that cutter and that slider on the outside half of the plate to righties. Uh, for some reason, a lot of those sliders ended up getting strikes on the right side of the plate, which they definitely should not have been. Uh, high heat, you really couldn't really do anything with that. So uh, the up and in fastballs, so I was going with that a lot. Uh, I did try to mix it up in the middle innings by throwing like curveballs off the first pitch uh, rather than heat, just to try to throw you off. You know, stuff that like definitely that. got me a couple times, yep. Yeah, um, and I think strategy-wise for me, which it worked until Fister went out, um, was... Two seam cutter and sinker um, on the hands, and then working the off speed stuff outside. Um, I didn't want to work, I worked up a little bit, but when I did, I was aiming on the inside corner to righties and outside corner to lefties because it was always going to be a two seamer if it was up. So I didn't want the two seamer to be in the zone. Um, I don't think I threw anything in the zone up. Ah, uh, you know what um, we should do when we play these games. We should look at like the pitch thing afterwards. Oh, I didn't even think about that. The pitch analysis, yeah, yeah. Uh, one thing hitting against you is I had to be very cognizant of what's in the strike zone or not. It was easy to tell the in and out ones because you threw a lot that were in t- for balls, right? Uh, but those low ones I couldn't lay off, right? And well, I mean that's and that's sort of the thing with with a guy like Fister who's not going to overpower you. It's showing that inside sinker just to keep you looking at it, and then the then showing the sinker at a different angle, which is the low and outside sinker. Yep. Uh, I like Garrett Richards. I like his mix. I really do wish he had a change up. Uh, yeah, I was trying to hit that slider and cutter away where they're like just off the plate enough that maybe right. they get called, or maybe you swing at them and you just hit them off the top. Uh, I'm surprised that he had that many pitches. Uh, with only four strikeouts, but yeah, there's a lot of details. well, and like, and again, the other thing, oh, I think I fouled off a few too. Um, when we got the two strikes, um, the one thing and, and that I can't talk about enough, and I use the strategy. You talked about the strategy. If you have a five pitch pitcher starting, take designate one of your off speed pitches, and just say I'm not using this the first time around, and then start using it the second time around. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, Yelich, Piscotti, and Story all had two hits apiece. Right. Knew that. Uh, I have to scroll down to see your box score, I guess. Uh, Yelich really killed me with the double and the triple. Um, Piscotti had a... Who had the home run? The home run was... Great question. Who was that? Uh, interesting. It does not say it here. Uh, just look for whoever had hit RBI and run. Should be right across, right? I got a lot of those. Was it Yelich? Or Freeman, Freeman. It was Freeman. Had to be Freeman. Yeah. No, no. Ozuna hit the hit the three run bomb. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yep. And was Ozuna? But yeah, a lot of a lot of this. So. That's an interesting stadium to play at. First of all, I was not expecting a home run to there. Uh, but that gap is 
uh, big. Huge, yeah. And you got a couple in there. You got, I think Freeman had one. Freeman had um, one. Yellow had one. Yeah. And someone else, I think. Piscotti had that one. Piscotti had a had a double out that way too. Right. So uh, you also had four strikeouts. You, I mean, yep. you struck me out four times. Yeah, like I said, I think my my biggest weakness is shown there is the high inside fastball and the tendency to start swinging at pitches around the zone that I should let off, hmm. trusting the fact that I can still make contact. Um, and actually, they go hand in hand. It's like I always worry that oh, someone is going to try to use the high inside fastball to me. So these numbers are all messed up too. Yeah, because it's two point four innings, and that's not true. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, technique that I highly recommend uh, people do: literally put the controller down. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, I mean for like the first pitch or two, I agree. Yeah. Wait till if if you have to wait till you get a strike. Sometimes I'll do that. People get so frustrated online. Uh, and then I'll wait till like the third. If it's a full game, I'll wait till like the third inning. I will take pitches, take the first pitch every time. Then they'll, then they'll catch on and start throwing it over the, right over the plate. Then you start crushing them. Power right. swing. Uh, I think I got... Uh, I needed a save. You ruined that for me. Oh, gotcha. I mean, gold, they did gold, count you know? stats into that, so... Yeah. Ooh, I got a caught stealing. 5,000 XP. Great. Caught stealing three. Awesome. I do like uh -huh. those hidden missions for doing stuff. For doing bad stuff. Right. Uh, ch -ch -ch. Yeah, uh, this was fun. It absolutely it was, was. A good game. Uh, we should definitely uh, up until the last. Yeah, up until what the eighth inning? I thought it was so. Definitely, it was very fun when I had the no hitter gun. <laughs> it was very not fun when Joe Panic cost you your no hitter. Oh my god, Joe! Pa you know what? Can I go take him off my budget squad right now? Who was my other budget second baseman that I didn't use? Is the question. Uh, I'll tell you right now. Uh, also, uh, we talk about the budget stuff on hitthepass.com. Uh, I put a post every episode that we've done with the budget guys, at least. Um, just talking about the cards that we picked. Uh, starting pitchers. It would have been one Stephen Pierce. Nah, was probably, other? probably would have made the same error. All right. Yeah. I don't, I don't think it would have been any much better. Yeah. Ugh. Just upsetting. Just upsetting. Uh, don't forget, guys, you can follow me on Twitter at that sports gamer. You can follow Chris uh, at Millennium OS, two L's, two N's. Uh, you can also make sure you follow this channel here. And if you're watching the archive, make sure you sub to the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash that sports gamer. Uh, if you'd like to see Chris do his streaming. Yep, yeah, we do uh, Rockies franchise every Sunday at one. We do some NBA 2K16. And we're going to be getting into a couple other games, possibly some FIFA as well, over at twitch.tv slash operations sports. Didn't know if you were actually going to say the link. Not going to lie. Working on it. Just making, got to get you to become we a professional. We are pretty professional, right? Especially when I talk over you. Yeah. Uh, I have no packs to open, sadly. Man. Probably not the time to open packs anyway after those fire packs that were this weekend. Yeah. I just wish I would have had that no hitter. Pretty upset now. Unfortunately. Uh, great game. And uh, big thank you to everybody that came out to watch the show. Uh, we'll have the archives up tomorrow for you guys. And uh, I guess I'll see you on the internet somewhere, folks. Take it easy. And now it's time for you to get out of the bullpen and get into the game. <laughs>